I definitely want to get Rack and Ruin out of my studio more and into the streets. The space I'm in right now is, uh, it's called the Mezzanine. It's an area up above um, Conant Metal and Lights, Lights workshops. But pretty much I just work in a space like this big with everything else kind of crowding in around me. There's noisy workshops down below. I get to use all the machinery, which is awesome because you know, I wouldn't be able to afford a massive buffing machine or sandblasting station. So it's great to be able to you know, be in with all these other creative types as they're working on their larger scale projects. When I was trying to think of names, I really liked names that were like old phrases or I just liked the way different words sounded together. And so um, I don't know why I first thought of it, but Rack and Ruin definitely was a big contender. And I like alliterations and um, I like the meaning of it. It's, it's an old phrase that means, you know, when something's gone to total Rack and Ruin, it's been left to fall apart. A lot of my early jewelry was based on found objects and discarded objects and so I liked that you know things that had been left to rack and ruin were given new life through what I was doing with them. When I'm at my bench I'm usually totally happy. Oh shiza. Like with the materials I find you know my mind starts you know, churning about what I can turn that into. I like to do a lot of my work starting with the material and getting inspired by the material and then creating from there. I think that, you know, the whole Rack and Ruin aesthetic is things that have been well loved, um, maybe revamped. And so, you know, growing up, going to flea markets, going to thrift stores, just having so much fun pulling out those old pieces putting new life into them. My mom swears that I didn't know you could buy new things in a store till I was like 10 years old. When you find that you know, unique object or that thing that you've been looking for for five years, it's, and you're the only one in that moment that like found it and it's $2, it's just, yeah, it's, it's total elation. I like the look of, of things that have a past and things that can have a future for the next 50 years.